We will be sharing a group of videos with young students learning the basics of penhold table tennis strokes. The one demonstrating in the video is called M. Boy. He hasn't been practicing for long, and there is still room for improvement in his technique. We're just showing our training methods as a reference for our friends. Our video shooting received full support and assistance from the Port Washington Table Tennis Club in Long Island, New York. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to them. One forehand stroke. We usually start with the forehand stroke, and the practice methods are as follows. A shadow stroke. B. Multi-ball practice. C. Practice with coach. There is another aspect that involves practicing with opponents of similar age and skill level, but unfortunately, we cannot do that. Shadow stroke is very effective. Chinese world champions all started learning table tennis this way. The requirements are, standard form, relaxed posture, medium speed, and continuous strokes. Once the continuous motion is achieved, we immediately introduce weight transfer as a crucial part to establish early on. M Boy's shadow stroke is overall good, but there is a flaw his feet should not rotate. Weight transfer relies on the waist and hips, and the feet should remain firm on the ground, while the body's center of gravity shifts between the legs. 2. Multi ball practice. The forehand stroke is the most important and also the most challenging technique to master. Our requirement is to avoid excessive forward tilting of the racket, and during the stroke, we should focus on making more contact with the ball, trying to achieve a large surface area of contact between the racket and the ball. This helps to develop a good sense of touch. Tips during the practice process. Watching. Watching the ball should be taken a split second of impact by the opponent which is to guarantee the speed and placement judgment. Backswing. This is an essential part of being able to launch continuous attacks and should be guided by weight transfer. Hitting towards the ball. The hitting action should be performed when the ball reaches its highest point, or even a little earlier. The hitting point is slightly to the right front of the body. After a period of practice, once the stability and continuity of the motion have improved, the goal is to keep the ball trajectory lower and hit the ball long, close to the baseline. Only with such a technique can one pose a threat to opponents. It is essential to maintain weight transfer throughout the entire stroke. M Boy is doing very well, but there is one thing that needs improvement, he should keep his feet firmly planted on the ground and avoid rotating them.